Alright, so as well as helping you get, well, as well as the disclaimer goes, well, I'm, I'm going to be talking over my recorded gameplay, giving you guys my experience with TFT, and kind of giving you tips on how to play TFT, because I've played with some friends that have no idea what they're doing after like 5-10 games, and I've played with some friends that kind of pick it up. Personally, I don't think it's that hard, but, you know... When RNG is involved in things, people tend to get pretty tilted pretty quick. So, yeah, enjoy. Alright, firstly, I'm going to talk about um, champion levels. So, let's take, for instance, uh, Kha'Zix. Cool. Free level 1 Kha'Zix makes a level 2 Kha'Zix. Free level 2 Kha'Zix. Makes a level 3 card 6. That's a very simple in my opinion. There is not much to say after that. The higher the level, the more health and damage it does, the more. Yeah. So, really and truly, you should be aiming to get. You should be aiming to get level 3. All the champions you put on on the, on the stage, should you should be aiming for level 3. However, since the game is RNG based, it's easier said than done. So, really and truly, aim for everyone to be at least level two. Having a level one champion is a bit of a liability, even if it is gold tier. Level two is is where you need to be, bare minimum. All right. Secondly, is items. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not posting. I'm not gonna make separate pictures of what builds into what. That's too much editing for me. Oh. Do I want to do that? It's all a bit. I'm gonna just say what builds into what, innit? Uh, for me to start getting pictures and then doing all this, this, that, yeah. <laughs> it's it's 6 a.m. in the morning, 7 a.m. in the morning. I only slept for like 4 hours. So I'm I'm I don't have the energy for all of that. But what I can tell you, listen, I'm gonna give you items. I'm gonna, I'm gonna list them out right now. Teardrop and BF Sword gives you spear spear of Shojin. That every auto attack gives like a fuck ton of mana and it builds up your mana more and you start off with more mana. Um teardrop and teardrop gives you um What's that fucking item? The mage item. Anyways, you start off with a fuck ton of mana. Um, yeah, so teardrop gives you extra mana essentially with almost every item. Um, those are all the ones that I use. I don't really like mix it with anything else. Uh, you got BF sword and the chain armor gives you Archangels, no, Archangels, what the fuck am I talking about? It gives you Guardian's Angel, that makes you come back to life after you've died. Uh, to make Bloodthirsters, every auto attack gives gives you health back. You need to do BF Sword and uh, the Cloak, the Magic Resist Cloak. To get... To get... Um, to get rapid fire cannon, which maximizes your attack range, you need two curve bows to get uh to get let's see, let's see, what's next, what's next? To get rage blade, you need a um large rod with a curve bow and that gives you attack speed every auto attack and it stacks infinitely. So yeah, if the fight goes on long enough, OP. Put that on Kha'Zix, Kha'Zix, put that on Kassadin, <laughs> easy up it. Um, now for your assassins, you want to build crit chance, that's what I like to do as well. Um, so 2BF swords is infinity edge, it, it doubles your crit chance something like that. Um, 
BF Sword and Curve Bow gives you some item that you have 5% chance to do 100 crit damage. 100% crit damage, which is pretty OP and it gives you attack speed, so good on that. And Chain Vest, Chain Vest gives you. Um, Chain Vest, Chain Vest gives you. Ford males, so every time someone attacks you, um, they take damage. Uh, chain mail, um, health belt thingy, gives you red buff. Uh, and the um, belt health thing with curve bow gives you Zeph. The item that makes the tornado chooses. Uh, Random champion adjacent to you, enemy champion, to throw in the end at the start of the match. So that's really useful. And spatulas combine with items to change your subclass, to change the subclass of a specific champion. So I think you guys should experiment with that because I'm, I'm not going to. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I do know uh, Spatula and Spatula gives you. I think it makes you a knight and it gives you one plus team member. So if you're level 6, you can put 6 people on the field. But if you have 2 Spatulas, you can put 7, even though you're level 6. So when you're level 7, you can put 8. Pretty OP, pretty OP. Other than that, the rest of the Spatula combos are pretty shit. And I don't think you should bother but in terms of what item works well with what champion, I really feel like you should experiment and find out for yourself. Um, all items are kind of good with everyone, but yeah, figure it out, you know, do some practice now. League of Legends is a free game, so you really have no excuse not to try it, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's free. So, um, give it a go, it's really good. Alright, I think I've talked for too long now, but I just want to say a couple more things, alright. One, all the gameplay you're watching is fucking random. I didn't really, you know, plan out anything. Um, if you look on the left hand side of the screen, there's a bunch of subclasses that are changing as I'm putting in different, different um, champions, right? Each subclass, um, gives different buffs. And I'm gonna try to get a picture that shows everything, but if I can't find it, I'm just gonna quickly speak. So free assassins give a hundred and fifty percent chance of critting. Six assassins are OP as shit, which gives three hundred and fifty percent chance of critting. So you essentially critting every auto attack, which is fucking OP if you have good assassins on your squad. Ninja, one ninja gives 40% um, attack damage to that ninja. If you put two ninjas on, it takes the bu um, buff off. So always try to keep one ninja, unless you're gonna try to get four ninjas, which I don't really advise you to try to do. It's better to have, um, it's better to have five um, tier one subclass buffs than one full tier subclass buff. Like let's say Elementus. You if you have three Elementus you get a golem. And it's really hard to build Elementus class and early game you will be losing a lot because you don't really get Elementus till about level four, five ish. Four, five, six. So you're gonna lose early game because you're not gonna have you know, enough elementus in the squad to get the full buff. So instead of struggling early game, which can, I mean, you can always bounce back, but if someone, if you're building elementus and someone has a build that counts as elementus, but you don't know it counts as elementus, you've just wasted your time, you know? So I would advise not to really do that. Um, I'm just gonna quickly say most OP sub subclass buffs is assassin 3 or 6 3 or 6, it doesn't really matter I would say 
go for free and have different builds on top of that. Um, Imperial, two Imperials. Best combination. Let me just say best combination. Three assassins, two Imperials, three, two demons, two demons. Um, because demon gives mana burn and um, glacial. Glacial is really OP. Anyone that stuns or has any sort of CC is OP. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna talk about champion tiers, as in you know normal grey, green, blue, purple, and gold. It ranges in the order I just said. So grey, green, blue, purple, gold. Uh, higher is more gold it costs. Also, very important tip. If you have 10 gold, you get on the left hand side there's a little gold thing that has um, that kind of floats up and down. After each round, you get like 5 or 6 gold on top of the gold you get from the round. So if you stack gold, you get more gold essentially. So if you stay to the end of the video, you have learnt something that can save you. Um, don't splash all your gold in the early game. Don't use up all your gold in the early game because it will fuck you over. I say for the first round or two, save gold. Only buy things you need. Don't refresh, don't buy XP. And um, you'll be good in the late game because you'll have a fuck ton of gold and you can build who you want. You know? So don't spend all your gold early game. But yeah, thank you for watching if you stayed to the end. And I will see you guys.